Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, nothing I have started rolling out. Nothing OS 2.0 for nothing phone one. There are a lot of changes done. Few of the changes you guys must be already aware because they are present on nothing phone two. But there are still some features which are missing for nothing phone one. And in this video, we'll talk about all the features which nothing phone one received with this new update of nothing OS 2.0. And we'll also tell you guys which all features are missing. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my nothing phone one. One, which I have already updated to latest build which is based on nothing OS 2.0.2 here you can see that the update size was around 0.97 GB and it includes all the changes layered to home screen customization nothing widgets glyph interface 2.0 new app features and some other minor improvements and guys before starting the video if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel so the first change is layer to boot animation let me show you the boot animation on previous build of nothing os with that of nothing os 2.0 so towards the right hand side that is nothing phone one which is running nothing os 2.0 and towards the left hand side also we have nothing phone one which is still on the first version of nothing os so initially there are no changes you get to see nothing logo after that there's a change in this boot animation you can see now we get to see dotted line instead of that straight line which we used to see on previous build of nothing os which was nothing os 1.5.6 soon you boot up your device you'll get this pop-up which says try the new nothing style and towards the bottom side you'll get options to update your home screen and if you want to use the previous one you can use that also but i am using the newer home layout and this looks pretty cool now with nothing os 2.0 you get to see a whole new set of nothing widgets so let me show you if you long press on the home screen tapping on widgets previously we had only four widgets but now there are a lot of options when it comes to widgets for example clock weather and some useful widgets which makes your day-to-day -day task quite easy and those are quick setting widgets there are three different shapes of quick setting tiles which you can use so for example if i use this quick setting tile and now i can select any of the settings which are available here for example battery share torch bluetooth mobile data device control and many more so instead of always swiping down the quick setting tiles and then accessing them now these quick setting tiles makes it very easy you just have to tap on it and you are good to go if that widget or the particular quick setting tile setting is enabled you'll see that in the red color and there are also options to customize the folders for example here we have a folder shape which is in square tapping on customize now you get four different types of folder style default grid circle and cover and one of my favorite is this cover where you can select the different cover options and you also have an option to select emojis for the folder cover pretty nice implementation and this new launcher looks gives a minimalistic look on your device and these widgets are not only limited to your home screen you can also set them on the lock screen too so if you go to lock screen option here you can see we have an option called lock screen widgets total number of eight widgets you can set i mean the smaller size one but if you choose a different style it all depends on the space availability so let me set few quick setting tiles on the lock screen to show you guys so once you have set this is how it's going to look on your aod and if you turn on the screen this is how it's going to look and you can also see a difference in the number pad present for the lock screen there's also a change in the brightness slider you can see we have that same dotted format instead of that thick brightness bar and the same thing also goes with the media control sliders another change what you'll notice when it comes to media control you can see the earphone icon and this will have different image depending on the product which you are using from nothing so i'm using nothing here too and i can see that similar image of that product we also get to see upgraded weather application with more information about forecast and now in the quick setting tiles if you single tap on the torch tile will have the torch in action and if you long press on this tile you'll see glyph light being triggered with nothing os 2.0 now we have the support of monochrome icon pack from nothing so soon you install this build you'll see not every application is being supported so what you have to do is you just go to play store and update the icon pack and if you don't find nothing icon pack in the play store I'll provide the APKs in the description below. One will be nothing icon pack and the second one is split APK installer. On my nothing phone one, I'm not able to find it on Play Store. 
so both the applications you guys can find it in the description below using this i application i mean to say split apk installer tap on install apk select internal file picker and from download section select the file which is version 1.0.1 and once you install it now you'll have all the third party applications being supported under this icon pack under home settings you won't find much of changes we now have a new home screen layout from where you can change the grid size and if you want you can also turn off the search bar under wallpapers and style section now there is a new set of wallpapers added on nothing os 2.0 and another two features which almost every nothing phone one user was asking that was dual app feature and app locker and finally that have been added on nothing os 2.0 where you can lock the applications you have two different options like lock the application when the screen is locked or lock the application when you exit the application so this feature have been added along with that we also got this dual app feature which was missing on nothing os 1.5.6 or you can say from the time nothing phone one was released and now let's talk about the glyph interface so here they have made a lot of changes but still few features are missing if we compare it with nothing phone 2 and we are not sure those features will come to nothing phone 1 because if you see on nothing phone 2 backside we have different leds in the center part on nothing phone 1 we have single led strip so i doubt features like glyph timer volume indicator level and glyph progress will come to nothing phone one but still if nothing wants to add them they can be easily added so first change what you'll see here now we have a brightness slider for the glyph light which have three different modes minimum medium and maximum and using this you can change the intensity of the glyph light on nothing phone 2 we also have the auto brightness option which isn't present on nothing phone 1 another very useful feature is layer 2 notification and it's called essential notifications so here you can set notification for any application and if you have notification from that application the glyph light will glow and it won't turn off until you read the message or you remove that particular notification so for example i have enabled it for telegram and if i send a message now you'll get to see that essential notification in action and there you can see i've received the notification and until unless i dismiss that notification or i read that particular message the led will continue to glow. flip to glyph was already there but now we have another new feature called music composer or you can say glyph composer if you tap on that it will redirect you to play store from here you have to download the application and once the download is completed you can open the app tap on get started so here you have all these new options you'll also find this new option of swedish house mafia if you also want to create your custom ringtones you can do that from here and later there's also an option to share it with your friends and if your friend have already created some you can import that ringtone with just one click so here you can see i created a ringtone and i can share it with my friends having nothing phone the same way you can import the custom ringtones from your friends too and if you have made any custom ringtone after that going to settings sounds and vibration and a phone ringtone you'll also get the option of glyph composer and they have also integrated this visual response for google assistant if you have enabled this let me show you how does it work okay google what's the weather now so this is how your glyph light will work if you have enabled that feature and then last one is the bed schedule so guys these are all the new features which you will see on nothing os 2.0 for nothing phone one and i'll also be doing an in-depth review of this particular version so if you have any specific question you guys can ask me in this video so that i can answer them in the review video as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day